Never mind that 50 Senate Democrats have said he's not welcome, Roland Burris today defiantly insisted he's already the replacement for Barack Obama in the U.S. Senate. I am the junior senator from Illinois, and I will be, I will be seated. That claim is about to turn an awkward political controversy into a constitutional showdown. Senate Democrats, who still say they will not seat Burris, point to this line in the U.S. Constitution, saying the House and Senate shall be the judge of the elections, returns, and qualifications of its own members. The thinking is that if Burris's selection by Governor Blagojevich is tainted, then the Senate has the power to reject him. The governor's process is tainted in such a way uh, that it undermines uh, the, uh, the ability to appoint a United States senator. But that particular constitutional claim has never been tested before, and many experts say the Senate is wrong. And the Senate's powers uh, in that regard are limited. Former House counsel Stan Brand points out that because Blagojevich is still governor, Burris's appointment is legal, and since there's no evidence Burris did anything wrong, there's no taint. You think they have to seat him? I absolutely believe they have a constitutional obligation to seat him at this point. What happens next is shaping up as a mess. Burris tells CBS News he won't be creating a scene, but he fully expects to be sworn in next week as Mr. Obama's successor. Senate Democrats say that simply will not happen, and so both sides are ready, if necessary, to fight this to the Supreme Court. Maggie? Wyatt Andrews in D.C. Thank you, Wyatt.